Hi, this is Sonia from An Enthusiastic Reader, and I'm here today to do a tag for you. I was tagged by Leo from A Little Book Life. He did his very first original book tag uh, this yesterday, and it's called The Favorite Characters Tag. And this was a fun tag, and he tagged me to do it, so here I am. The prompts for this tag are a character that you love fiercely, and for this uh, question I chose Ursula Todd from Life After Life by Kate Atkinson and the premise of this novel is that each section is Ursula Todd's life relived over and over again and as it goes on the sections get longer and I think by the time you get to the end of the novel you completely understand the character of Ursula Todd through all the iterations and choices that she's made in, throughout the course of her life. And most of it takes place during the Second World War, and she plays an integral, integral part in the war effort in London in one of the sections. And her grit and determination and her understanding of the people around her and her compassion all come very clear in, in this novel. So the second question is a character that is heavily flawed, but you cannot help but love. And for this prompt, I chose William Stoner from Stoner by John Williams. This is the kind of cult classic, NYRB classic novel that is essentially the life of one man, um, especially it starts right after he goes to college and then he becomes a, an English professor and it's all of the wars, the culture wars in the English department at the university where he teaches. It's his awful relationship with his wife, and it's just him very passively living his life, and but being a very deep and thoughtful character on the inside and not really letting any of, any of that be expressed. And when you get to the end, I mean, it's just this wrenching end for him even though it's a very quiet scene. And I just love this character, even though I wish that he really would have taken more action and kind of gone against some of the characters that were always against him throughout the course of the novel. All right, um, number three, a character that made you laugh out loud. And for this one, I chose Charles Araby from The Sea, The Sea by Iris Murdoch. He is a ridiculous character. He's very egocentric. He comes across as being very knowledgeable and intelligent and very sophisticated, but really he's he's just kind of slightly crazy in a, in a weird way and not at all a nice man, but he's still funny. And um, so <laughs> I'm not much for comic novels, but I did really like the comedy that was mixed up with the pathos of this Iris Murdoch classic. Number four a child character that you like. And for this one, I chose a pair of siblings from The Mountain Lion by Jean Stafford. There uh, are four children in the family and the book centers on the, the youngest of the two, or the youngest of the four. So there's a brother and a sister. Their names are Molly and Ralph. And they are very, very tied together as children. And they really love each other. They get into all kinds of crazy adventures together. But as they get older, they start growing apart. And a lot of it takes place at a ranch in Colorado. Um, they are sent to live with their uncle in the summers. And, and as life you know, becomes more complicated for both of them, their relationship becomes very strained. But they're so interesting, the way that these characters are written about. And I, I absolutely love that book. Number five is an animal character that you love, and for this I chose the dog Jasper from The Dog Stars by Peter Heller, which is a kind of uh, pandemic, end of the world novel that takes place also in Colorado, and the main character has a dog named Jasper, and they have a very close relationship, and I just really love the way that Peter Heller described the relationship between the dog and the protagonist. Number six is a strong woman character, and for this I chose Agnes Shakespeare from Hamnet. Her name was really Anne in real life, but, but in Hamnet, Maggie O'Farrell has kind of taken some liberties because not that much is actually known. Uh, in fact, basically nothing is known about the relationship between William Shakespeare and his wife or his children, so she's had this kind of blank canvas to imagine what their lives were like. And Agnes Shakespeare 
is a very intuitive character. She feels things and she's a healer and she, you know, she makes medicines and helps people in the, in the village. And she is such a strong character. I really love the way that Maggie O'Farrell has brought them to life on the page. Number seven is a brave character that you admire. And for this, I chose Maddie Ross from True Grit by Charles Portis. Uh, Maddie Ross is like this little spitfire character whose father is murdered and she is consumed with a bloodlust for vengeance. And so she hires a tracker and they go after the killers of her father. But she's very funny, she's incredibly bright, and she's brave. And there are lots of encounters that she has to endure during the course of the novel, and she never loses her courage. And this was such a fun and also harrowing novel. Number eight is a character that scared the hell out of you. And for this, I chose Uriah Heep from David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. Heep is, he's so unctuous and ingratiating and he's got these slimy manners, but yet he is a very diabolical character. And I just remember feeling a kind of a an ache in the pit of my stomach when I would read passages about this character because I knew he was up to no good. Number nine is a really mean character. And for this, I chose a book that I just recently read called Nothing But Dust, which is a translation from the French by uh, San Colette Sandrine. And the mother in this story, it's a story about a mother and her four sons. And the mother is one of the meanest characters I've ever seen. She cares really, nothing for any of her sons and she makes them work so hard on this sheep ranch in Argentina and she she will do anything and in fact she she has an unforgivable event that she perpetrates on one of the sons and it sends everything into it skyrocketing into this cycle of violence and vengeance so she didn't I can't remember and I can't find out if she had a name, but I would just call her the mother from Nothing But Dust. And finally, number 10, a character that you really hate. And for this, I chose Grand Court from Daniel Deronda by George Eliot. He worms his way into a marriage with the main character, and then he does nothing but dominate her and terrorize her throughout the course of the novel. And he was... You know, not like Uriah Heep, who is just really mostly greedy. This character, Grandcourt, was greedy, but he was also extremely, extremely cruel to his wife. And he comes across as somewhat charming and, you know, aloof, but he was horrible to her. And so that's why I hate Grandcourt. This has been a really fun tag. If anyone would like to do it, I would love to hear your answers. But if you think that this sounds like a fun tag, you should do it. And please watch Leo's original tag because I'm so excited that he created a tag. And that's all I've got for today. I will see you in the next video. Bye.